Rich Neck Elementary School students have now wrapped up their first day back in the classroom. And by the way, they've been out of school for 24 days after Newport News police say a six year old intentionally shot his teacher. New security measures are now in place for students, including metal detectors. News 3 reporter Antoinette Delbell joining us now live at the school. Uh, Annie, you spent some time out there. You spoke with parents as well as mental health specialists on how to cope with anxiety. How are families feeling about some of these changes you've mentioned? Barbara, I spoke with several families who were still a little bit anxious about bringing their children back to school today, but they tell me that they like the new safety measures in place, including those metal detectors. They say that they wish they were here at this school and other schools across the district a long time ago. In the meantime, the students that we saw walking in and out of the building today were certainly excited to be back. Entry students back in the classrooms after a little more than three weeks away. How was your first day back? Great. We, had, we played a lot of games. And they got some cool new gear to help keep them safe. We got this backpack is clear so they um see what do you have in your backpack every student starting their day with a high five from an officer then going through state-of-the-art metal detectors did not look intrusive to me at all uh kids walked through and some of them looked at the lights uh, but you know I, I didn't i didn't see the kids affected by that i saw the kids walking in smiling suzanne turner's son cyrus who's in kindergarten didn't seem to mind the detectors he just sees the presence of the police and all the camera people and to him that he's just like yeah i, I don't like this <laughs> um, that's what overwhelms him the new security measures come after newport news police say a six-year-old intentionally shot his teacher during class on january 6. turner says she's now preparing to have that difficult conversation with her son no, i'm just anxiously like okay do you have just a normal day, please? Did you have a normal day? And that's the simple open ended question. Licensed professional counselor Kurt Hook says you should be asking your child. Be prepared to listen more than you talk. I, some, I think sometimes we don't give children enough credit for the capability to uh, understand and identify some of their own feelings and to express them. Hooks also says pay attention to your child's behavior if they're sad, withdrawn or not talking much and know that mental health help is available even at Rich Neck. We caught up with Cyrus at the end of the school day to check in. And how are you feeling right now? Um, amazed. About what? Because I got a vacuum. And that mental health specialist says it's critical for parents to be aware of their own stress and anxiety because he says that could pick up, the kids can pick up on that. They can pick up on those cues and it could amplify how they're feeling. Meantime, school administrators here say that they've updated the training for teachers to keep this from ever happening again. We're live in Newport News, Antoinette Delbell, News 3.